It sure was a hot and sticky Saturday afternoon, and that had led to a very unstable atmosphere, leading to strong and severe thunderstorms. And we got 50,000 of our closest friends just here in Shawnee County. Country Stampede going on. This is Max Track Radar, and good news currently dry. I'm sure it's a muddy mess out there, but they're all getting geared up for Jason Aldean. He's on tonight at 10 o'clock, and fingers crossed it doesn't get stormed out. We are tracking unsettled weather across northeast Kansas this evening. We do have a severe thunderstorm warning here in Pottawatomie and Jackson counties, clipping northern Shawnee County. This is a severe thunderstorm warning that goes till 645 for winds up to 60 miles per hour. Could see some hail to the size of quarters. And these are extremely efficient rain makers. It is absolutely pouring right now in Havensville and the casino there near Holton. And that's tracking right into the Holton area. There. We are also tracking some stronger thunderstorms near Abilene, Salina, up toward Clay Center. And this also has some extremely vivid lightning with it. And this is just round one. There's that severe thunderstorm warning for Clay and Dickinson County. And this is just uh, round one of what's going to be a long night as we zoom out and take a look at more storms firing up near the Wichita area. Those will start to track into our neck of the woods. And so it's going to be kind of just a wet evening. We're going to watch this batch ride on in. So here we go. I'm hoping we can get some of the rain out of here by at least 10 o'clock. We can see that we do have this severe thunderstorm watch till 10 for northeast Kansas. After that, most of the severe weather will be tracking away from us, and hopefully we'll get some dry time for all of our friends out at Country Stampede. Enhanced risk of severe weather today, a slight risk of severe weather tomorrow. So we do have a couple rounds of rain we'll be watching for you. Here's a live look right now from our WeatherCam network. This is in Manhattan. Cloudy skies, got a nasty storm just off to your east. Here we are in Topeka. Already had one storm roll through at least the north side of the city, cooling us down. We were up towards 90 earlier. We're now at 80 degrees. Feels like 83, and it ooh, was so sticky, so muggy out there this afternoon. That's what's helping fuel our threat of severe weather. 80 in Topeka, 88 in Lawrence. Actually had a couple of reports of funnel clouds over in Jefferson County earlier this afternoon. McLeod, you're at 84 degrees. It's 81 in Manhattan, 77 in Clay Center. But I mentioned really soupy, kind of nasty out there. And that's what's going to give us the threat of all that rain. Here's future track and see right now at 6 o'clock. Catching on to those storms we have, pushing through the area for the rest of the evening. So you're going to have multiple severe thunderstorm warnings probably. So we'll be here all night tracking that for you. By 10 o'clock, though, you see most of the heaviest rain moving out of Shawnee County, but could be kind of a soggy Jason Aldean concert. I think we're going to see another round of storms for tomorrow morning. So if you're going to church Sunday morning, you're going to want the umbrella. Gabby Gomez is going to be here tracking these storms for you on Sunday morning. And then a third round comes through Sunday night. Could see another round by 11 p.m. tomorrow night. But then things get much, much better as we head toward Monday. Let's take a look at that five-day forecast. Tomorrow, 83 degrees. Thunderstorms are likely on and off. I think we'll see some dry time tomorrow. But we do have a good chance of rain in the morning. Then maybe again Sunday night. Monday. Sunny, 82, hardly any humidity. Monday is going to be a zippity-doo-dah day. <laughs>